Okay, hey guys, um, I'm getting a lot of feedback on, oh, this is great dating content stuff, but we missed the esoteric stuff, so I'm going to quickly upload you guys some of my old notes re revamped, um, and I've got this also for you guys. Uh, where is it? Okay, um, I guess... Yeah, this next video will be fifth degree kind of ancient uh, philosophy and that alchemy that you guys love so much. But my next video will be, will go over mystical sounds, vibrations, uh, more alchemy. Uh, but I'll try and make it less uh, complicated than this video that you're about to watch. Um, time and space that cosmic consciousness that everyone talks about but not not in the not in the way you think it's not it's it's not going to be a hey come do some supernatural shit um meditation we can go over quickly uh the development of intuition this is huge for changing your life um i don't want to go into what what did I, someone ask for telepathy human aura and metaphysical healing that this kind of stuff is like uh, I, I see the list you sent me, but it, this kind of stuff is like the born seventh life path Crowley type mystic, you know, like it's not for everyone, like most people can't do this shit. Um, so there's no point. Well, not right now. Um, the, the, no point in talking about it in detail, right? Uh, composition, structure of matter, power of thought and concentration you wanted, visualization, telepathy, mental projection, law of the triangle. We can, I can go into great detail about that stuff. Um, I think origin of diseases was a good one on the list. Perception of the aura is, again, you said it again. Yeah, I'll go over it quickly because it is real. Uh, healing treatments, mystical art of breathing. That's huge. Awakening the psychic consciousness. This is more like uh, collective unconscious and Jungian. Um, uh, we can do a video on what you guys think. Uh, I believe about reincarnation, karma, free will, good and evil, um, illumination, the nature of the soul, initiates of the flame. In the book talking about that stuff. Uh, purpose of spiritual evolution, structure of matter, positive and negative as vibra vibratory polarities. Th this note is more about uh, male and female, really. About anytime you hear positive or negative. Uh, electricity, magnetism, electromagnetism, right? And their real definitions. Uh, these are not, they're like psycho spiritual and psycho, uh, excuse me, uh, psychological and. Um, a third one is uh, scientific. Uh, Subatomic particles, elements, uh, material alchemy. So that's with the base metals and uh, really connected to the stars and planets. Um, next will be mental ses sensory illusions is huge, right? So instead of you talking about superpowers, the, the illusions that are destroying your life, uh, physical, psychic, and spiritual influences of the subconscious. This is huge, man. This is, I could do 10 episodes on this. Um, cosmic purpose of life. Uh, you just copy-pasted some of these, I can see. Uh, vital force. I've seen these before. Um, transition of the soul. I, this seems more like Plato here. Uh, um Phenomena and phenomena, nature symbols, sacred architecture, vital life force, and living soul. You guys should know that's the sexual drive. Um, or with Schopenhauer, the will of the universe. Like, fuck Schopenhauer, bro. Um, and by the way, a lot of you guys don't understand that uh, those spinning energy wheels in your body, the chakras, the, it's very different from Western tradition and the seven gates that uh, the East have, right? Because uh, in Western tradition, uh, it, it could go up to 10. Um, uh, the spiritual dimension of food, that's huge, yeah. Uh, that's more for my health course that I should come out with. Um, 
physical and mental prevention of disease. This is huge. I don't want big pharma coming after me, but yeah, I should go over that. Um, so these are my notes that uh, you guys added on to. And really, uh, yeah, I like it if we're talking about healing, right? Anything that's about anything that's about healing and, uh, you know, making us success stories that are not selling our fucking souls and being gay, right? That's that's what it's all about. Uh, what else? Uh, that one that said mental alchemy, that, that's probably the, the only area I'm an expert in. Uh, or I guess not to toot my own horn, but... You know, I wouldn't say expert. I would say like the topic I'm most obsessed over to change my life. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go over Invisible Masters, Invisible College, The Lost Word, th this kind of stuff. It, it's got to help you in your life first. You know, let's go through those first. If we're going to do any uh, esoteric content, it can't just be because that could go into entertainment, you know. Mm -hmm. You said ritual magic, astrology. Well, it's astro theology is what we want to look for. Um, arcane, the dark night of the soul. That one's huge for me. I should do a whole chapter on that. I was gonna do a in my uh, join. By the way, guys, join the secret society at my website thezircofficial.com. Um, I pretty much do esoteric and dating content and how it, it massively overlaps because it's really the yin and yang, male and female, right? That dynamic that you're conquering. Mm, well, not conquering, excuse me, reconciling. The, the union of opposites, right? Mm, cosmic harmonization, da 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 da. Mm, fleshology, okay. That one sounds weird, but I know what that is. Uh, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, ethics, we're not going to go over that. Astral prediction, not 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 next. Because um, I'm, I'm very... Uh, this is what I'm into, yeah. This one right here. Uh, pretty much procedures and habits to changing your life. Because you got to remember, this channel is not just about bringing you guys to God because everything else in the world is taking you away from God. This is about everything that's been hidden from the public we use against government and everything that's trying to destroy our lives, right? And, uh, you know, I get accused a lot of being, uh, what do you call me, a, a Christian mystic and not a real Christian. That's fine. I don't want to be an average, normal, regular whatever the fuck I see at Walmart, those Christians, that's totally fine. Um, all my thought process perfectly aligns with a bunch of the saints that I read about. Um, I would rather align with those guys than your Trump and whoever the fuck you guys consider a Christian, right? Um, okay, so the next one will be, the next video coming up is how I went from grinding hard and changing my life to really locking in psychic habits that made me who the fuck I became in 2023, which is make money in my sleep. Like that's in, I, I, I can't believe how long I waited to have this kind of uh, working smarter, not harder uh, thinking process because I had the notes, I knew what to do and I kept doing it and going back and when I locked in and finally did it, um, yeah, just, just the the video I'm gonna play next is um, it's a stream I forgot I did it on Rumble or Kick I forgot, but uh, it's everything you need. If it makes sense to you, if it doesn't make sense to you, obviously don't implement uh, my strategies. But if it completely makes sense to you. Um, Go change your life, man. Okay, guys. That's all for today. And here's the video. And that's what this stream is going to be about. The stream is going to go over the anima. And it's what, like, 
red and blue pill guys are at war with. It's like, have you noticed, I don't want to name names, but there's some red pill guys who genuinely get mad at women on the podcast. And I just laugh and treat them like kids. And you can see I'm not that angry. I'm like never going to see these again anyway. Let's do the content. But if you notice there's red pill guys who have like this genuine anger towards them, that anger will not let you enjoy a Ferrari. I'm telling you, it will ruin your life. And I'm not speaking from experience. Let's look at successful people who have that anger, right? The anger, is it just? It's just, but not against yourself, it's not just. If it's taken away from your life, that's not just. What are you even trying to do in life? You're trying to be angry in a Ferrari? The whole point of being successful is so that that expensive machine. I talk about the Ferrari example because, like, men, we want freedom and toys. We don't really care about our house and shit. And the Ferrari is, like, the perfect symbol for me that if you close your eyes and you can't see yourself enjoy the Ferrari because you're thinking of your ex, you're not a man. End of story. You're not. And... I know what aspects make me less of a man, and it's not that. When I dislike women, I'm not at war with the anima because it's there. If it, if this thought form, this split duality, yin and yang of male, female, animus and anima, if it's there with me for the rest of my life, I want to enjoy the Ferrari, man. You know what I mean? And... That's really, that's, that's such a scary place to be, that you could be successful and hate women, right? I hate women when I activate it, but it's not always on. If it's always on, it's going to kind of dictate how food tastes, how the Ferrari feels, how basketball with your buddies goes. Like a girl could walk by with a dog and be dressed like a whore and that could f*** up your whole basketball session. That's like the poison of the red pill, Right? And that, I'm positive it comes from lack of faith in God, right? I'm, there's something atheist about it. Anonymous donated five, I reached out to her twice after the breakup she replied to the first one and rejected when I asked her to meet for coffee and completely ignored the second time when I asked why she unfollowed me, drunk texted, is it over? It's over because the reason she ignored it is because she was getting piped, either psychically or physically, which I don't know what's worse because psychically a lot nastier is happening in her mind. At least physically she gets kind of turned off by the chad. And she goes, ooh, maybe I don't want this. And maybe I'll just get it over with. But psychically, she's mm, 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 watching a Zerka video. And she goes, eh, just one night with that one. Mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> also, just like close your eyes and imagine her getting... Yeah. Someone said, you f*** with Kabbalah. I have a mastery understanding of it, but I don't... What do you think? I sit here and like most of most of Kabbalah, what it is, is just like masonry. A lot of it is understanding God or the structures of God will be like um, there's one structure of severity and one structure of mercy. And how can God be full merciful and full just and bring divine justice? These are two pillars. And usually you re reconcile the opposites and go that you reconcile the opposites and go through the middle pillar to God to the thought forms of God, um, which is uh, if you, just like in Magic Manny P Hall's book, if you're too based on energy and motion, emotion, you spin the out and you're luciferic and you burn out. But if you are too cold, then you're satanic and you crystallize. Like businessmen crystallize in the material world with no spirit. And then there's people who are so 
consume the spirit. <laughs> you know, like they go, they, their psyche can't handle it and they burn out through emotion and you want to reconcile these opposites. And that's like a quick understanding of middle pillar in Kabbalah. But uh, the Zohar is a form of witchcraft. Kabbalah is more of like a thinking process. And uh, you guys got to remember that the Jews were the original good people on earth. Now they're evil because they're very different people, different blood. They're Canaanites. Let's be spam Canaanites in my chat if, if I'm spizzing. But the original, why Jews are God's chosen people? It's not like this direct feeling of being chosen by God. It's the first people who did not worship idols. They said one God. They didn't have many and archetypes and all this other phenomena. They said one, and that honored God, right? But then they started sacrificing to Moloch, and and people are like, well, that's not Jesus. No, it is. It is. Okay, it is. The original, the start of mankind... At the start of mankind, they are the first people to not worship demons. And then, these, this top group of Jews got subverted. Babylonians, Canaanites, serpent worshipping Ophites, you name it. You know, all these clans mixed up. Khazarians, uh, all these guys mix up into the top of the pyramid. And then they start selling God, one God, to everyone. And everyone loves it. Everyone loves it. And we're done with the pagan archetypes, right? We're done with the Eros and the Aphrodites and Hermaphrodite, which are really just Jungian archetypes, if you think about it. And now that these guys are selling one God to the world, the world is buying. But who is selling it? It's the infiltrators. And the infiltrators have babies. So we don't even know where the bloodline is anymore but the infiltrators they worship the Fuentes 2036 donated five what content will i expect to get if i buy the new date iq also did tucker carlson give you that bracelet um what content if you get the new data iq first of all you ask me directly your questions so you get me and two eight hours of new spizzing footage where I break it down. And what is up with everyone attacking me today about the bracelet? What is up with this chat? What is up with you guys? What is up? What is up with this chat? Jesus is God. Catholic, you've never seen a Catholic bracelet? Go get baptized and talk to me. What the f is wrong with this chat? I told you, if you want to incriminate me, my past, I leak all of that. My whole past. And another thing, okay? I'm not the only person who had military buddies get me around uh, any any of those gay societies, right? Well, they weren't gay, but... Well, now, I guess they're all gay. Every military guy you know knows a Freemason, bro. It's like, I'm not the only... And some of you guys are thinking, like... Can you even imagine Zerka in a Masonic Lodge studying? You think that ever actually happened? Or did I study in my own room? Like, get the f*** out of here, bro. You think... Bro, stop freezing up. Because if I say anything like a joke, people run with it. And it, to me, it's hilarious until I see 20% of my audience is uh, being pulled away from Christ because they think I'm some evil entity. Uh, and another thing you should... I'm not talking about this, bro. We're talking about a bracelet. You think this is a Scarlet Jew bracelet? I'm the one who leaks on Twitter about those bracelets. Like, stop it. Anyways, that's what I was saying. Anyways, and that Kabbalah stuff is pretty much what I learned in my past. And it's a uh, practice from uh, 
my past club. I really my mentor because no one in the club knows this. They're just old men, really. Yeah. You like intermittent fasting? Dude, you will never clear your mind as a human unless you fast. Fasting is huge. Like, people are like, yo, Zirka, how come you're lean today but fat tomorrow and blah, blah. Bro, I have days where I fast and days where I f up. Right? And when I'm fasted, my thoughts sound like this, bro. Like, right? Yeah. They just... Yeah, fasting is super. Don't fast if you're skinny. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. Don't you want the mental benefits, even if you just look a little worse? Don't you want the euphoric feeling? Like, have, has anyone studied in a fasted state or maybe just with black coffee in your stomach? Or if you want extreme euphoria, you down a protein shake as your first meal. Oh... If I do that for two, three days, my my face starts to like connect skinny as fuck. But uh but then I I feel weird like at dinners. Like I'll go to dinners with some people and some business partners and they always like, you gotta eat this, you gotta eat that. I don't wanna be like the weirdo. I'm like, oh I'm fasting. But no, I should be the weirdo, because like I owe you guys this I don't know you but I owe you guys these kind of good streams. Anyways, what was I saying? Um today's stream all gonna be ms paint man like i'm going to break down your psychological issues with the anima or the angelic we're not gonna be Jungians and call it the feminine divine god aspect we're gonna call it the angelic feminine right because god's plural is just talking about angels usually okay and if you don't know what i'm talking about um my past spiritual practices actually align a lot with Christianity for, for the breaking down like this. You are a fish in the ocean of spirit and there's beings that float through you. Like like a dog. A dog doesn't really get what the f I'm saying, really. But it, like I can nudge it to do certain things. That's what nudges us. We're like dogs to these spirits. And these spirits, they come in and out of each other. So there's like one, two, three that turn into one. And a lot of angels are just like a collective of people, unless they're like divine from God. But in, if it's a human angel, right? Because you can, you know, rise the ranks. That's what the stars are, the collective becoming one. So when you look at a star angel system, it's like a bunch of good entities in one. Now you have the same thing for demonic world and that spirit world, this in between is pulling at you. Sloth, pride, envy. These are entities, bro. Okay? These are entities. Greed is an entity, right? And it's like, think of greed as a solar disk, like a sunlight. And the, the light rays are everything bad that comes from greed burning us. But it all adheres to this archetype of greed. That's why it's so, that's why the Bible is so useful. It's like, there is no psychology without the Bible, right? It needs the Bible. All right. What the fuck is Zerka talking about solar disc? Well, I'm not allowed to do any other types of content. These guys say they want every stream to be a cult or they're not buying my shit. And so I said, hey, trying to get rich. So I'm always going to paint images, occult images. Um, yeah, right? And remember, guys, too much light can be a bad thing. Too much emotion. If you have so much love, I mean, think of it like this, okay? Love is great, and love is from God. But love can hurt, and love can kill. So is it from God? You have to understand what the f*** it is. If it's, love does not look like that guy who donated with his infatuation about a whore okay my dude 
99% of men can't go back to their ex and play around with her without catching feelings, bro. Is you gotta be a cold to have you gotta have everything in life to go dabble with demons like that, and it's still a waste of time. You shouldn't do it. How's the stream? Is this 10 out of 10 stream or what? Am I spizzing? My streams are either risen, occult spizzing, or preaching. But I'm trying to preach less now because I realized it's so much better when I structure a preach a sermon. When I go off the top of my head, as beautiful as it sounds, I don't want it. I don't want it a part of my content unless it's structured. I want order to it. I don't want to just be one minute talking about hoes, one minute talking about Christ. Like, no, no, no. There should be like waves of this, right? I really think I'm the greatest streamer of all time. Because I'm not an entertainer, bro. This is not entertainment. I'm teaching. You know that you're listening to a genius because a genius doesn't follow their own advice. They do until they don't, and then they start f***ing up. Bro, I'm telling you, us creators, we're always trying to make a new thing. So we don't, ah, f*** my old advice. Let's try something new to find a new idea. But I'm telling you, bro, when I'm giving advice, 100% take it and run with it. Unless it does you wrong in the first second, then pull back and ask yourself, is Zerka really the guy? I've never once gotten an email or a DM that said you led me astray in my life. You know what I mean? I'm so shameful and embarrassed of looking stupid when I give advice. Or looking like Andrew Tate, like, the elites just control everything. We're all gonna die. Well, I don't wanna ever sound like a friendly care package inbound. Marty donated five. John Let's Unless talk it's for on comedy. Discord. Want to talk about Christianity and girls? Marty Marty underscore 24,774. What? Dude, this is a $3,000 consultation, but you guys get direct access to me if you, uh, join my website so twice a week although sometimes i just like yo who, you know sometimes i just go for an hour extra two hours extra but guys we'll be on vcs together if i'm really spizzing don't interrupt me please don't okay but uh yeah and we already know which dudes in the chat are asking the best questions so we start with them also if you're going to be in my website and you want to ask me a specific question, bring detail. I'm the, I'm not the kind of guy that goes, an hour, got to go. I'm not that streamer, bro. So bring a bunch of detail, okay? Don't, hey, I broke up with my girlfriend because we had a fight over the dog. And what the f*** did you tell me? I can't help you, bro. F stab the dog. I'm kidding, right? Start with the female dog. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Someone says, is belief a choice? Or Friendly care package inbound. It's Dude, always a choice. Five. Zerka, have you read Paradise Lost? Also, how far are you on reading Hegel? Proud of you. See, this is why Haas hates me. I'm like 1% Hegel. Like, bro, I've, that's Haas's thing, bro. That's, no. no. I'll, I, here's where I'll stick to. Here's what I'll stick to, okay? I like Plato. I like Christ, especially for me. I, I'm a very like angry guy. Um, I like Steiner and I like Jung and that's it. And that's all I need for now because the feedback I get, you changed my life. You helped me so much. You, Bro, you know how powerful words are in the, it's like spell casting. If you can't define depression, it hurts you more. But if you define depression with different spellcasting, depression is self-aggression. Now you know the root of your issue. Do you get how, if you, I'm telling you, a thesaurus can help you with so many problems. If you, if you write down your, like the, the mainstream uh, narrative is you're depressed. But if the na mainstream narrative got tweaked and said you're self-aggressing, then you'd ask yourself, why do I hate myself? 
And that why is going to make you uh, cry and break down. But dude, these words, you can cut down to the root of the issue. It doesn't have to be, depression doesn't have to be this vague thing. You can define it, see it, and when you see it, it's in your sights. You can sculpt it down and bah, 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 snipe it down. And then it, it's like a zombie. It always grows. Like it wakes up the next day, but it's like a lot slower this time. So you go, bam! And every day you got to take it down, right? Someone said, so just pray. No, dude, the Bible is about increasing your knowledge. There's so many verses in the Bible about don't be an idiot in life. When people confuse the Bible and it says knowledge is evil, no, knowledge of wanting to be equal to the divine is evil. Meaning if you want your knowledge to supersede the Bible, if you want to be smarter than the Father or equal to the Father by biting from, you'll never, keep the Bible as your top authority and all psychological help you get from a therapist will benefit you. But if you're an atheist with a therapist, whoa, dude, that is a big waste of money. I think therapists who say don't believe in God or don't even mention God, maybe even Dr. K, I think they... Intent, they know what they're doing. Friendly care package in now. Martin they know. Five, I think they're fucking. M28. I make 80k a year. Nice. I have my own apartment. Six foot two. 220 pounds. I would say I'm a chad. I'm Christian. I ask God for guidance. But what would you do if you were me in regards to next steps in life? Okay. I get a lot of girls. But can't retain them. Um, that's really weird, because let's say you, you have everything, status, network, looks, I'm 6'2 is looks, right? You're not retaining them because you're having some kind of mommy issue in your life, my dude. Like, there is something that's coming up that is hiding the woman from you. Like, you're not seeing her true form, you're projecting the evil anima in your head. Should I explain this on MS Paint? Like this? What are you seeing, chat? Holy delay. Okay. Why can't I see chat? Dead heck, stop doing that. I can't see chat. Let me do that. Okay. Looks better? Okay. So I'll just leave my hand here, okay? First, you have God. Try and do this on the lines so it looks nice. Right? Wom 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 wom. Say W in chat if I'm if you've got a good angle of what I'm doing. Wom 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 drop. The first drop is the duad yin and yang. The one, masculine is one, the numerological one, and the Q. Okay. Wum, wum, oh. Okay. So this is the first emanation of thought form. Wum, 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 wum. Okay. This is the collective. Unconscious, whatever the fuck you spell, mm, whatever. Okay, this, these thought forms, they rule us. Like when we look at the anima, this is like Megan Fox is in it. All ideal forms of women. I know that's a man, but you know what I'm saying. It is the angelic. Fem, then F, from the, col this is a collective. We all share this archetype in our brain. Naming it the anima after, or the eros. And this is what it looks like. It's a moon deity. It's angelic. It's not a god. It's just your experience with every single female. It's called the anima. That's its eyes. It's a, it's a chinky little. Okay. 
and it's got hands and it can jack you up but it never does you want that okay say w if you can see what i'm doing if, if there's light okay uh, this is you an insult okay and you are always communicating with this whatever the fuck it is it's an angelic again you don't want to say god like jung but archetypal phenomena okay you get it it's in the sky you can't pinpoint it but it we feel it pure slash play that's my own notes that's not really now look at this your mama your ex and your girlfriend are all affected just like you are by this complex in her head by anima through you it goes through you it's everywhere bro okay you are probably the most affected well everyone's affected but men deal with the anima not the animus as much the red pill guys especially affected as red pill male probably in my chat okay now the man is thought which is spiro spirit and the woman this is her the woman is desire this is why she's a cheating bitch. it's all about desires this is why men who can't control their desires sound feminine okay now your exp let's just say that with this symbol this feminine with this oh i'm ruining my good notes Fuck. oh well, stream's worth it right this is your experience okay so maybe you are just sitting with a sword you you have a sword and all you do is think with your sword here's your sword and you're next to a tree and you're thinking about like attacking no kidding okay you're just this is like what i think about okay now look at this you're thinking of this symbol right and why we use symbols is because they tell the whole story and words takes forever to explain anything. You're thinking of this. And here's Anima. Here she is. And she goes like this. Hello. You're her lips. She's got big, nice, juicy lips with her little wings. Right? And there's a moon running through her skull because someone axed her. No, she can't be axed. She's divine and powerful. She's from the divine. Excuse me. And she says, like an Asian lady, big, strong man is what she rewards. She's like claps for it. Like, oh my God, she just keeps talking about big, strong man. And you're here sitting on a rock, middle of the night. And you're thinking to yourself like, dude, if I want a wife, the only way I know how is to appease this thought. This wifey thought, whatever the f that is. But now you're an incel, and anima turns fuck to a monster. Okay. Now it turns into a monster. There it is. See, see its tongue. It goes, and then the red pill male is a. He's scared. Oh my god. And the insult's like, no, it's a monster for Okay, now every experience they have with a woman is weird. 
because they have this they propped up this idea that the woman is a scary thing why sorry it's chat in the way uh they think the woman is a scary thing because they probably got rejected right they're not this night guy in the woods right and both need this spark of masculine and feminine right and usually like uh like these zirka types i remind women of this thought in her head like, oh he's strong he's this he's that he's gonna put a sword to my neck and you know like that turns her on because she's been hearing that thought forever right so now check it out this is your ego the center of your consciousness and he holds the sword of will right so remember there's thinking feeling and willing right thinking is masculine feeling is feminine right and willing is your body your physical right now look at this and you need both to kind of like eh, i'll get into that after but look at this the anima hits the insecure ego right and the insecure ego projects she's a hoe onto this girl who only has one body count look at her look at her tits she has one body count she said i have one body count he goes you're a hoe for having one because he had a bad experience when he was an incel getting rejected or something happened with his mama and so his ego can't stand it and the ego's like Grr. right he'll cut her head off now the ego the center of your consciousness will not see what a woman is he'll have a bad conception of her he will not see her for what she is because he's being dominated by this this that dominates uh andrew tate or anyone who has a bad relationship with their feminine energy which is kind of like there, there's a divine mother angelic mother and then there's your mama right and to impress your mom girlfriend wife you're really trying to impress this archetype okay uh for women it's a little different because they have that angelic father boyfriend archetype so when they think of i need a boyfriend they vaguely thinking of this like not even this they want to just appease this and this has a sword and he says stop being a hoe you're a slut right and she's the shame from a woman comes from her inner voice this animus that says shame you're a slut right and women doing moral things and then rationalize their desire slash banging an alpha male and then this demon here she will actually go for thought loops until she rationalizes why she did that i was alone i was this i was that. shut up she deserves her gonna punch you in the throat and hollywood actually fucks up this male female unity confuses them thinking the beta can have her and shit like that they confuse the divine couple the sun and the moon right so this is like a jungian slash occult version of this stuff you're battling with like can you see all that i really wish i did this in pen it would have hit harder i'm never doing a pencil notes thing again like i really f it up for you guys okay bro you should yeah i should do cartoons like people are like if you did a draw my life you could really help me i'm like should i Because, guys, if you don't use cartoons and symbols, you're never actually going to learn this stuff. And it, even if you learn it, you'll learn it for on paper. You're not actually going to, like, hmm, why am I calling this girl a hoe? Hmm, maybe it's because my childhood experiences where my crush pushed me off the playground and said I'm a beta male and, you know? Does that make sense? Yeah, and Jung and Occult overlap so much, dude. It's insane that he didn't want to lose his medical degree. Because I wish he kind of went full. He didn't have to hold back so much, you know? Some of my best notes, and I... I can't believe I showed them with bad lighting with a pencil. Like, it should always be ink. Remind me to always do this stuff in ink. I have this thing where if I scribble something out, I hate it. So I do it in pencil so I can erase it.
Nigga says, did you have a phase where you smoked a lot of weed? Yes. It was called my unemployed phase when I was a drug dealer. And then I realized how all, how all awkward moments are when you're high. Like, when, when you're sober, you don't have awkward moments with girls that much. But when you're high, you what did you say? Oh, I thought you said something else. Like, it's just a weird way to farm trauma on dates. Like, I thought she said my dick is small. She hasn't even seen it. How did she know? What? Your, the weed is f***ing you up, bro. And weed is coming from your desires. It's feminine. Bro, there's feeling. We respect willing the most. Like, go to the gym and will it with the body. There's feeling what you feel and you do something to appease it. Maybe you get a hope because you're lonely. And then there's um, thought. And I'm telling you guys, the guys who mastered the thought and the thinking are depressed because they suck with the feeling. And the guys who are all feeling are like in Aiden's chat smoking weed playing Fortnite all day. That's all feeling. Like you're trying to just cope. This is why everything is about the male-female union of the sun and the moon. You pour it into the Holy Grail. You are the Holy Grail, by the way. Okay? And that's... Uh, well, this is alchemy, what I'm teaching. Okay, this is like psychic mechanical alchemy to find. I mean, you already know your what you're weak and strong in, but this is a good practice for you to focus on with symbols, so you can actually stop yourself from going on dates with a hoe or a whatever. Does this make sense to anyone? Friendly care package inbound. Anonymous donated five. Was he on Christian? Yep. But uh, his father was like was like a priest or something like that. Then he let go of it. And then Jung let go of it. Then he was more of a mystic. And then his final, like at the ending of his life, it looks like he comes back to it. But like vaguely. Like, like a Christian that focuses more on psychology. Whereas a Christian is more faith-based, I think. But... Uh, yeah, nothing I hate more than a dumb Christian. I think you should have both. Because, like, we are losing this war right now, bro. We have to, The world has way too many dumb Christians. Way too many. Like, a dumb Christian is someone who looks at you and says, All knowledge is bad. Be a stupid Knowledge to be equal to God is satanic. But there's millions of verses in the Bible that says, Stop being a stupid You You need to accumulate knowledge. Okay, I know I'm repeating myself, but I really want to hammer it in because, like, what are the chances the one Christian who reads is this dumb jock? Get some of these geniuses to read. Like, if you bring more Christians on earth by going through a psycholo psychological approach to converting people, do it. All psychology comes from the Bible anyway. What do you think the pride, envy, all that stuff is? It's psychologists are borrowing from God. It's not vice versa. A lot of people don't actually read the Bible. Dude, let me tell you this, man. You don't even have to read the Bible since you've never done in your life. Start Googling verses. If you start with Google, I think you guys will do better. Sweden boy says trash stream. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. Sweden's a f country. Like, the biggest... and Your your country's soul is f And you're coming here. You guys are way worse than any country in Europe. And you're coming here. You guys are the biggest soy boy. Bro, your ancestors are going to rape you when you reunite with them. Those Vikings are going to rape you. Okay? Swedish people need to kill themselves. Soy boy, bro. Like literally, equality capital of Earth, right? Friendly care package inbound. Raven donated five. Should I start with the red book or do you recommend another? Mm. Now start with Alchemy. That's a good book to start. Uh, red book is it's for minds like mine, not yours. Red book is like for people like. Yeah, I don't know how much you're going to get from that if you don't understand alchemy. If you don't understand at least the basics. 
right? Because when these thought forms in your head become symbols and stuff, my dude, you just fix bad habits on the fly. You don't have to take two months to fix a bad habit. When you realize a bad habit is coming from your struggle with your anima because your mom didn't give you attention, you fix it on the spot because you don't want to be judged. Like you feel like somebody's judging you that you're a you feel the entity, right? And this is what, like, in pagan times, they would, like, they would have a bunch of, like, um, Aphrodites and stuff that all adhere to the anima. Like, they were all different feminine kind of uh, mythology, but they're all talking about one. And, and they left the shame with the gods. Like, these gods are very immoral and stuff like that. Friendly care package inbound. But Don't Christianity reversed it. Please do these streams more often gets my mind going and brings me closer to God way better than listening to repetitive numerology readings for two <laughs> hours straight. Yeah, well, I do it all, right? I do it all. And why numerology is important is because the anima and the animus is numerological. It's one and two. That's all. It's like the matrix, the one and zeros, but it's really like one and two, the way you should see it. No, I know my twin brother is a great therapist, but he's not at ma he's not at this level of Jungian mastery, bro. Like he's at a level where he can really benefit you, but me, I go in, bro. Like there's very few things I read now. Like I'm really into this stuff because shadow work saves your life. You know, when you integrate your shadow traits and you grab the bad and you reconcile it with the good and you find a happy middle of what you want to do with your life. That stuff is the best, man. That's for me, the, one of the biggest, it started off like a mystical journey with Jung. And then when I saw how much it helps me in business and making money, it became my obsession. I was like, wow, you know, I really don't go live on these days where I'm feeling, uh, I'm more in my desires and I'm not willing enough live streaming hours and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, my brother is like 6'2 or 6, I don't know, 6'3. Why is that important? <laughs> Basically, this archetypal phenomena in your psyche is the zodiac. Okay? And then the seven seals or seven planets of antiquity is mindsets you go through, like Let's say Mars is conflict through growth or growth through conflict. Excuse me. There's a lot of people who have to like go learn the hard way. And when you find out you're one of those guys, you stop going through the Mars gate, right? Because it's a wrathful gate. Like these are the seven deadly sins, but there's virtue to each. Like there's a mirror side to them that you're supposed to pull from. You're supposed to master this. Okay, like what's the mirror side to Mars and wrath? It would be like strength in getting it done, but not in a wrathful sense. Although you could do it like that, but when have you ever benefited being wrathful? When has anyone? Right? I mean, the one benefit you get from being wrathful is not even worth everything else that comes your way for it. You know, it's always this alchemical trade. It's like a Faustian thing to do. Like, you, if you become a billionaire killing people mafia style, you never sleep correct again. You're always paranoid. So are you really a billionaire? You can't have one good night of sleep without thinking someone's going to poison your cup. And shit, right? These are Faustian bargains if you do it through sin. Yeah. And I've been studying alchemy for, like, years. I had a mentor obsessed with it. And it didn't make sense until I became a Christian. And now it makes sense. Because I'm like, oh... They just, the alchemists just stole the seven deadly sins. Like, this is older than. Yeah, I think Jungian psychology will help you guys the most. And, and I don't think it's that hard. Like, I think you guys can do it. Right. Or you could just let me break it down for you. I can read these pages and break it down with cartoons if you want it like that. Because I do the cartoons for myself to remember. I don't really do it for you guys. If there was a system where I can like... Look, I'm going to be honest, bro. I should get a drawing pad. 
if I have a, I, don't, I hate the mouse. If I have a drawing pad, this stuff will fly by. Yeah, someone give me 500 bucks for that. Because remember, I don't touch my money, I touch yours. You want to increase the content? It's up to you guys, it's not up to me. My money is invested. We can't even touch my money. Okay, that's how it works. Okay, 2024 is about taking the money that I didn't take in 2023 because I was so busy on my crusade. And now it's like the church is taxing you guys. I'm the church now. My twin brother is five minutes older. My twin brother said, uh, he said, John, you're a part-time genius. Like, I can see the days where you're a genius, and I can see the days where you're just John. And I'm like, ouch, bro. And he's like, dude, imagine, because he thinks if I read every day that I can bring the genius out more. So that's what I'm doing. And he's fixed all my problems, like, the dude is smart because he'll say something that'll irritate me and I'll just sit. Yeah. And that's what alchemy is, is turning lead into gold. You're the lead. You must become a genius. And my first confrontation with the collective unconscious, my first confrontation with my shadow self pushed me to become a millionaire on paper from the most bad guy to like guys this stuff is worth it bro you want to make some money another thing my channel i don't talk about this enough dude every christian child on earth says success is with the devil and i used to say this for years on twitch am i if all christians are pushing success is with the devil no wonder nobody's a Christian. You can, what the, they have like no faith in God. You, can, Bro, I've, I actually think everyone in this chat could be a millionaire. Will they be? No, but I think you guys can all do it with God. Like you solve one little issue in your life and you market it and it solves other people's issues and you're boom, there you go. Right? Because really, dude, you're trying, what alchemy is is balancing your, um, it's really balancing um, love and freedom. So freedom will be the individual's love for yourself. And then the, that's freedom. And love will be for others. But again, if you go hard on loving others and become like Greta Thunberg, you do nothing. And if you go hard on freedom, you become me before I was successful. You become like this radical tyrant. Right? So thinking, feeling, willing, this is the trinity of your psyche. And you should focus on every single moment of your life. It's not even hard to do. It's fun. Focus on why am I thinking that? Is it coming from feeling? Is it a thought loop? Or is it something I should be willing, like go to the gym right now? So it's body, spirit, and soul. Right? Soul is feeling. Spirit is masculine. It's the ideal thinking. I have to do this. And the willing is your body getting it done. And this is such a simple concept that that'll drive you to success. But it takes weeks and weeks. I'd say it takes like a full moon cycle for you guys to raise your awareness. Where you go, oh, I'm conscious of why I'm thinking of my ex. I'm conscious of why I'm thinking of this business failing. I'm conscious. Once you're conscious of your looping thoughts that are raised. You, then within a few weeks you'll be on your way to being a millionaire or you'll take out a fat loan and you'll start getting everything you wanted done does that make sense okay so just focus on those and don't focus on the seven seven planetary halls right so whether you're going through your saturnian or your mars or whatever don't focus on that so much uh, instead, I like to draw little symbols and cartoons of the seven deadly sins and which one's dominating me that day. And usually if you free draw, you will draw the one dominating you. If you're being lazy and slothful, you're going to draw something. Something from the collective unconscious is going to pour through your finger and you'll draw something fat and lazy, right? And, and, and these cartoons need to talk to you, bro. It's time. You got to stop thinking how you used to think because it's not working for you. You got to do what I've been doing for the last eight months. Or a year 
Well, I've been doing this for years, but I never took it serious. Like, I always thought this stuff was kind of gay. And, uh, and I didn't even believe in this stuff until a couple of months ago when, uh, when I saw how much money I made. Because I'm not the guy who checked, you know, I let my team check the money and stuff. When I checked how much money I made, I'm like, okay, I gotta be that sort of guy. That's a good mindset. Yeah, and so those seven seals, seven planetary halls, that's also in Egyptian mysticism, but that's the seven candles, tabernacle, that's the seven deadly demons and sins. That's the seven days post-birth when a woman's unclean. That is like the angelic number of seven. Is you have these seven dominating uh, rays burning through your psyche. Do I sound like a genius or what? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so for the longest time I avoided this stuff because I'm like, oh, if it's not the Bible, it's not truth. But when I found out Jung and all these people are stealing from the Bible, I was like, oh, it's a more modern version of the Bible without the truths. The Like it has truths, but the, the core truths are in the Bible. You can go straight there if you're intelligent. But if you've never picked up the Bible and you can do Carl Jung... Uh, like it's don't treat it as gospel but like if you don't align it and see how much they're stealing from the word of god then uh you're, you're a fucking retard like they're literally taking everything okay i'm kind of all over the place bro i don't like this okay let's answer some of you guys pull up this yeah no I, I i love that in in the red book right where carl jung talks about selling his soul to magic man you have no idea how many, friendly care package inbound you have no idea how many times Zerka you guys have tell done us that. what top three alchemy books to buy just as king uh my favorite is just jung alchemy because that's like very basic and it's not this oh, oh. Built that, yeah, it's not that mystical, it's like practical. Yeah, I spilled my whole coffee. Da -da 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 -da. Friendly care package inbound. Zerka's apron donated five. Zerka, you said when you were a fitness coach, you had to get your new clients to fall in love with the gym. How did you do it? Advice for people new to the gym? Oh, uh, super simple do exercises you love okay like some some people actually love chin-ups more than bicep curls you're gonna go further in your chin-ups like you're gonna go further and actually i recommend the compound lift more than the isolation exercise but yeah like if, if your program's fun like you're gonna dominate that shit someone said is sigil magic satanic by itself yeah, the intention is usually greedy and it's always about the intent, but uh, sigil magic is kind of just practicing. Um, Friendly care package inbound. Bro donated five. Only books that lead you to the Bible are worth reading. Yeah, but the problem I'm having is they're not reading the Bible. That's my issue, dude. It's like these guys will pick up Freud and everything else but the Bible. And I'm like, it's been seven years. They still haven't picked it up. Okay, so do, if I give them examples of people stealing from the Bible, they're going to go to the Bible. They're not going to stay on these doctors, right? Uh, that's my biggest problem with my chatters is like, they love the Bible, but they've never read it. And I'm like, okay, what the f*** is going to bridge that gap? Like, I've tried everything with you guys. Right? I think the best way to do it is... Uh, do a couple hours of the Bible and then switch to something more modern, right? So go back and forth, and then when you can, when it aligns, you know it's the truth. But if if Jung is teaching something against the Bible, then you know he's bullshitting you. But uh, usually, yeah, yeah. I like to start with the Bible, 
and then I like to see where these uh, philosophers what their copy paste. Friendly care package inbound. Anonymous donated five. Where or what book to learn about the anima you was just explaining? Um, that's Jung. So anima, animus. I think you guys should even skip Freud. To be honest, I don't really. I can understand Freud, but I, there's no, it's not that mystical. So it sounds. It feels to me if it's not mystical, it's bro, right? You you don't see world elites and stuff studying that stuff, but. Uh, Uh, I think it's just called Alchemy by Jung. That was the first book I ever read of his stuff. When I got Friendly to care package inbound. Anonymous donated five. How long was alchemy a part of masonry? Was Alistair Crowley the one? No, Crowley's, Crowley doesn't teach alchemy at all. Crowley teaches black magic. Alchemy is self-development. It's like for yourself. It's There's nothing satanic about alchemy. Right? Alchemy is like focusing on your shadow traits and seeing why they're there. Whereas Crowley is about mixing semen and piss and drinking it to piss God off. And yeah, it's like Crowley's is very different. I mean, Crowley did steal the meditative practices of the Kabbalists, the good Kabbalists. He stole that, like the box breathing exercises. What's your favorite sport? I've never watched sports. I used to when I was very young until I realized this is gay. Like, watching sports is gay, bro. Like, you're, oh, my God, go number 23. Oh, my God, that's a man sweating, and I and I want to be just like it. It's like, is there any higher form of idol worship than watching basketball? It's so gay, bro. It's like, I never even understood, bro. I've been in rooms with like professional players and stuff, and when I see guys, yo, can I get a photo? I go, oh. friendly care package inbound. Raven donated five. Salvador Dali was an occultist. The whole surrealism art movement that started in the 1920s was trying to access the subconscious for art. Yeah, 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 that's actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you have access to the subconscious. That's why you're miserable, right? The whole point is trying to see where. Why you're being led astray by uh, your shadow traits, right? Or your astral projections you see, right? Thank you, Schizo Crusader. Title this something else, this stream. Title this stream, Alchemy and Psychology. Something like that. Someone said it's 600 megs of test. Look, dude, here's why you're not supposed to f with your endocrine system is you're f with your energy wheels it's not healthy right and they all adhere to your heart pulsing chakra i hate using that word chakra i'll use seal but uh yeah you're with your uh energy dude that's like uh, that's like why don't why don't i take juice is because <laughs> i don't want to be dominated by uh exogenous hormonal energies or stuff to trigger mine. Like, I don't want any of that. Also, it's like rapid aging, too. It's kind of stupid. No, I don't Botox. Why are these guys convinced? Dude, look how I'll get up close. I don't do any of that. How did you recover from sleep? Friendly care package inbound. Stop Raven taking them and you heal. Five. Do the planets represent the deadly sins? Yes, but they also come with something good. Something good, something bad. Something good, something bad. Each of them. And so, um, like you grab at them, you go through those planetary halls in your mind, and some people say even after death, but I don't know about all that. And, um, when you grab at the something good, you stay even if it's something bad. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's tempting. Like, I want to be strong in the God of war. And then you're the God of wrath of your own world. 
And anytime you're a god of your own world, you are a demon. So, which happens to all of us. We've all been through those cycles. It's like, you shouldn't feel that dirty for it. Because, like, that's what it is to sin. Right? You could, that's why even sinning a little bit, it consumes you, bro. It's It, it spirals. Right? I used to sin, I think, I used to do a hundred evil sins every hour. <laughs> I used to have on the table, weed, alcohol, an abusive relationship behind me, an abusive one texting another one. I used to be so dark, dude. And that's when I found the nature of how fallen women are, is when I was surrounded by women as some kind of abuse, abusive freak show, you know? Like, I was, shut up, you fucking no, I thought you loved me. Why'd you say that? And I used to like think that's like a normal. Yeah, it's just like I can't believe how much I changed without reading. So I'm so glad I went hard on the reading. Uh, yeah, and the, what what you guys have to remember is reading this stuff isn't a waste of time. You make more money. Your business grows as you grow. You find. One hour of work becomes like your old seven hours of work. You do it in an hour. Okay. No, I don't read mainstream books. I will never read 48 Laws of Power. Anything on a bookshelf, I will never read. I'll only ever read if power has held it. Or if it's inverting the Bible, or if it's from the Bible. Okay? Because if I read stuff that invert the Bible, I know what not to do. Because uh, the Bible's enough, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of hours in my day where I just can't do the Bible. Where it's like, bro, if I do three hours of the Bible, I need to, how you say, go for a walk and play Flappy Birds and just, you know... Because uh, I have like this mindset where when I read the Bible, I start to really whip myself. Like I start to really repent in a negative way. It's not good. I mean, it's good enough to repent in prayer, but it shouldn't follow me around all day. That's like not what God wants, right? Uh, no, Empire of Angels, no. No, I don't read anything supernatural. I don't need, read any... I think that the... Furthest I've taken fantasy is like Dante's Inferno, and that's it. And, uh... Someone said, is Tate Mossad? I mean, his dad was CIA. Is CIA Mossad? So, ask yourself that. Which, I don't want to shit on a lot of people, but... A lot of right-wing heroes, their dads are... Friendly care package inbound. Raven donated CIA. five. Have evil Satanists like Rothschild and Marina Abramovich just accepted they are going to hell or do they believe otherwise? Well, they're confused, right? They've got the spirit of confusion and the devil in them. So they, they're rationalizing it. They're thinking of ways out of it. And they're, they're, I mean, they're communicating, they're channeling with these invisible forces so much that as intelligent as they appear, these are like people drunk on spirit world. So, who knows what they think? Someone said, how do you have good skin? I don't. My skin's good, like, a couple of times a week. I pressure wash my face. I've always done that, though. Like, really pressure wash it. And people say, you're not supposed to do that. Um, yeah, but right now it looks, yeah, I'm kind of glowing right now. Well, all I did was fast a bit. I just forgot. And, uh, yeah. Usually when you're eating and digesting food, you're oily. That's when your skin gets ruined because you're in an inflammatory state. So fasting can help. Did you ever get acne? No. I actually had a... I was booked for a skin... Uh, uh, some modeling for some skin products when I was doing a bunch of steroids. Like all my buddies had zits, but steroids made my skin beautiful. And uh, yeah, I was booked. At the, and my buddy's like, hi. Yeah, I was just like, I'm like a pregnant lady, bro. If I fast, I'm glowing. I'm like a preg pregnant bitch in the morning. That's what I am. This is my morning. You pressure wash your face? Yeah, I've always pressure washed my whole body. Like, I get really... Uh, yeah. Unless I'm partying. If I'm drinking and partying and doing stupid shit, which I rarely do now, 
But if I ever do that, then I can like go to the hotel with the boys and forget the shower for a couple of days and be a dirty guy. But if I'm at home, I have like three, four showers a day. I sing in the shower and I make it a whole thing. Like if I'm at home, I, I don't know why I cannot sit in filth. But if I'm like going to a rave, like I can easily be dirty. Also, you're just supposed to be clean and looking good for God. Like, you do it for hoes and you don't do it for God, you better do it when you're at home alone. Yeah. You're supposed to look, you're supposed to enjoy the mirror. Is there no numerology today? I just realized. We didn't read one birthday. These niggas, bro. Friendly care package inbound. Jack Dylan 17 donated 5. Can you speak on the Rosie Crucian Chimical wedding? Um. Friendly care package inbound. Anonymous donated 5. Right. Is as above so below a form of alchemy? Unifying knowledge, ego, with the human self, weakness. Uh, a little different. That's a little different. That's talking about masculine and feminine forces. Uh, be anything below will be feminine, right? Which you still need, and anything above will be spirit. Uh, but uh, Satanists do it in a different way. Because they think it's bringing heaven to earth, that they can be their own gods, and they can rule here. So, yeah, there's like a mirror to even magic. Like, there's like a good magic, but all we see on TV is the evil fucking magic. And I don't think there's even a point to study magic anymore because uh, it's going to lead you astray. 90% of the magic content is going to make you a devil-worshipping fiend. There is no good esoteric channels anymore. And I don't do it. Like, I don't teach you guys that stuff i was thinking of teaching you guys and selling a course but then i realized like what if you guys just stay at home just trying to pop off with this stuff well if you don't will it it doesn't work so you still have to get out there and do the work but i don't know if i have time i can break that stuff down but that is like holy that's like 400 page notes i have to open Yeah, sometimes magic happens involuntarily. But, uh... Like, the best example of a magic would be if you kick the ball versus if Cristiano Ronaldo kicked the ball. Some are just in tune, bro. They're, they're numerological frequency. They're just... Everything they've done on Earth led up to that level of magic. Or, like... Nick Fuentes, you know, he'd be against this, but you can't deny that guy has some political kind of, he's just, when he talks politics, the whole world makes sense. He's just so good at it. That's got to be, there's, yeah, I've never seen anyone have higher level of charm when they break stuff down. That's a form of the good guy's white magic. He's the good guy. Do you avoid seed oils? Eh. Bro, just fast and eat once a day and your skin will only break down for a couple hours during that digestion period. And your skin ain't gonna be that bad. Eat one big fat meal and then go take a sh and then clean yourself up and wash yourself and go to bed. explain heaven well it'll come in layers but uh should i break it down real quick i'll break it down the esoteric what we've been hidden but look at these notes i'm glad you actually said that i have it here this is like Oh. My shampoo I use some expensive shit I forgot. Hold on. 
Yeah, basically, you're the Holy Grail, and think of the sun, moon, and the seven vices or virtues or sins that are all planetary. The seven holes, uh, these are what you pour into your chalice. Okay, so first, I, I'll, I'll break down creation. You have unity, God, wom, wom, wom. And then you have the split of the feminine, angelic feminine and masculine. Boom, the duality of the yin and yang, the duad. And then you will have the casual plane of potential and potentiality and thought forms. These are all thought forms, right? Emanations. And then you have the mental plane. It's more for us. And then you'll have the three, we'll just call it the emotional astral, whether lower, middle, or high. World of desires and dreams. And then you have the etheric plane and then the physical plane. And all of these are crisscrossing through you all at the same fucking time. And this cosmic conception is like ancient, but uh, it's in some Christian mystical texts too. And think of your soul as being out there. It, it's looking at you. You're having a conversation with your soul, really. Um, a lot of people think soul is like right here. Soul is out there and it's eternal. And it, it, it has its desires. I want this. I want that. And you have to know what to feed it. But I think that's enough for the esoteric. Um, oh, let, let, let me break that down. Hold on. In a more Hellenistic, or in Platonic thinking, it will be God, male, female, anima, animus, Casual plane, mental plane, emotional astral, which is the same one. And then evil, or demiurgos, or the devil, right? And then they say etheric, but who knows, right? So never think of devil as just the physical plane, right? There's both, physical and spiritual. Uh, yeah, and the devil, you, you know you're channeling the devil when you're doing stuff you don't want to do for certain feelings that don't last and you know do you really want to cheat on your wife like ask yourself no no one actually wants to do it but it pulls at you like Ugh. someone said what if you get rid of all desire getting rid of all desire is a satanic force which freezes and crystallizes you and you do nothing in depression and then giving yourself to your desires is a luciferic force that makes you go 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 and very emotional and burn out but either way whether you do too much sunlight you're blind but if you do no sunlight you're blind you have to really find the middle here because uh the devil is so deceptive he's on both sides right I've been preaching God for four years. What are you talking about? I'm just way better at it now. Okay, give me a donation for this esoteric stream. I'm never doing esoteric streams. I didn't get any donations. I want a $500 dono. I went through notes. I want a fat dono so I go through more notes with you guys, bro. This is not an easy thing. Okay? I'm giving it up without even putting it on my website. This is giving it up for free? I should just pay more all this shit. I, I YouTube esoteric and occult channels on YouTube. Is it true? It's 99% of them are like all tarot reading and all this. Am I the only channel that does it for real? That's how you know I'm from a lodge. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm smarter than those lodge fucks. I was. I was and now I'm not. Okay? And if you've ever joined a brotherhood, you're gay. You're like me in the past. You're wasting your life. Friendly care package inbound. Hitler's gas mask donated five. Explain how five life paths can be overpowered if they master sexual transmutation. I'm a five life path with a secondary 11 like Arden, but not a sodomite like him. Any advice? Don't. Don't. And you'll it'll transmute into your work. And if you're conscious of getting it done and you want to do that right should i explain the mystical aspect of virginity like the esoteric aspect 
it has to do with uh, incarnating a different soul, they talk about. That if you hold that energy and don't do it with anyone on earth, in your next lifetime, that energy comes back to you in a super saiyan form and you can do anything. So it's like a reincarnation thing. But uh, yeah, that's like the shadow of Christianity. Because I'm not really a reincarnation guy. I've heard both arguments from the Christians who say, oh, it's in the Bible. But I go, eh, that's not really how we're taught to live life. Like for the next lifetime. Like, no, no. Although my channel is about the, like, you know, everything is about heaven at the end. Like, like if you lose your job, but you're still a Christian, you didn't lose. Your job. You know what I mean? I still live for afterlife, you know? I lost everything. I lost millions of partnerships because of the Christian thing. But will it pay off? <coughs> Who knows? Who knows, you know? I don't know, I only feel fully, this is going to sound a little crazy, but I only feel fully saved if I'm saving people. I don't feel saved every day, because I feel like I've done so much stupid in my life. Hold on, let me grab some shit. Does that make sense, Jeff? Does that make sense, what I'm saying? Someone said, is ego a good thing? Um, ego, when fusing with yourself, your full self, because ego is the center of your consciousness, or self is the total. Uh, when it fuses with yourself, it, does, it thinks it can do things it can't. But if you integrate your shadow traits and your persona and what you idealistically want to be but you're not into your ego and grow your ego that's the point of life that's the that's the individuation process that when you're 70 you've integrated enough of that stuff to where you've mastered many things that's the whole point like when you need, meet a 70 year old master who's very egotistical and he knows everything about his craft yeah no he worked hard for that ego death is and it's uh the opposite of Jungian psychology and it's stupid. Like, what the... F also, another thing. This isn't biblical, what I'm going to say. But it just feels correct. <laughs> so don't take it, like... Take it with a grain of salt. I don't think you should meet God without a mastery of something. Because <laughs> wouldn't that look like you're the biggest time waster on Earth? Like, you kind of spat on creation itself. Like imagine meeting God, he goes a hundred years and you didn't master anything. Like, that's a weird conversation to have. Because like a hundred years and you never taught anyone anything. Right? God doesn't want you to smoke. See, again... Friendly care package That's inbound. Nico's hotel chair donated five. I break <laughs> for everyone on how helpful you are for changing our lives for the better. God bless you, you Neanderthal looking fuke. I got you. And this will be forever, guys. You guys are going to be with me until the next life, bro. Right? I will be in heaven like this together, and I'll be like this. Dude, you did a hundred years of being my chatter. Like, why didn't you master anything? Some people are happy just being NPCs, though. I think that's stupid. Like, the best compliments is when I read... When I read... If I read one comment, like these random... You know, like... I've read so many comments where they go, you know, this guy's actually kind of a genius, this Zerka guy. If I read one comment like that, I do, like, 10 more hours stream the next day, like... Having a master of something gets me going, bro. It's awesome. And now you guys are going to comment that just to get me to stream? No, no, when it's genuine. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've mastered. I think I've mastered compared to an NPC, but that's not saying much. Like, you guys are in your animal forms. Did you F Xena from F and I've never F the friend. Friendly care package inbound. And she's not a friend. Donated 10 dope esoteric stream. And I didn't do it still. What types of meditation do you because promote? Because I'm a homie. I don't believe in empty mind either. 
What? <laughs> what did he say? Empty mind? Friendly care package inbound. I, I Anonymous know. donated five. Real love from me, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna need more than five, guys. I need $200 dono, because I'm gonna start reading your birthdays, bro. Someone said, explain Lucifer versus Satan. What's well, this? Even though I can make an argument historically, it technically is not the same. Dude, it's the same. Friendly care package inbound. It's the same ruler. Ruby donated five. Have you read a book called Power versus Force by David R. Hawkins? Actually, How many subs actually, for yes. Discord? What the f Keep I, going, man. I have. Deep thought opens the mind up to a lot of demon mind. Careful. I if you go into deep thought, be sure you are healthy. Friendly care package That's why you pray. That's why you pray. But I have read that book at an airport. Power versus force. Thoughts I know I'm MDMA read it. therapy. MDMA therapy, devilish. That's one hundred percent the devil. What the? F what the f are you talking about? Do you think God is going to give you a couple Tesla pills in heaven? Like, what are you doing, bro? You think God is going to be like, yo, there's a great rave. We should... You know why people go to a rave? They're searching spirituality and love from a community and the Father. Friendly care package it's... inbound. They're and searching for God, these young guys. Where is the documentary? It's in a computer system in LA. And I'm too lazy to fly to LA just to pick up a PC, bro. Okay, I can't, I can't fit on those planes. Unless I'm driving it into a tower. Guys, I need more than five. Guys, I need... If I do esoteric, bro, this is like, fuck, I'm not going live tomorrow if I made what I make today. This is a joke. Numerology made more. This is bad business. Anyways, to explain the Satan versus Lucifer, Fuzi, when he's manifesting in like just all of emotion, burning desire, that's Luciferian force. Fuzi, when he's depressed and not doing anything, that's a satanic freezing crystallizing force. They're both the same entity. You up? You have to. It's a middle process, bro. It's a middle ground of like your emotions and you're you're pulling back away from them. Like it's like a nice spiritual balance. Stop being greedy. It's a big sin. No, I'm actually integrating my greed because I'm not greedy enough. All right? If I if I was greedy last year, I could have had a mega church right now up big time all right so i'm trying to be more business minded instead of like feed chatters which just feels like i'm feeding demons if i don't make money and become a bigger channel like what the f tell my twin brother to stop taking antidepressants yeah that's a whole different subject bro listen i'm not a doctor but has anyone gone to a doctor and realized they're on an ipad most of the time like i let go of this doctor idol worship a doctor a long time ago right like have you ever corrected your doctor on your diagnosis and you were right and he says you'll stop trusting doctors when they say to you my bad and a lot of doctors bro they're like i i prescribed you the wrong thing for a long time but they can't admit it fully so they just go oh my bad do this but if they were fully honest, they'd be like, yeah, for the last four months, you're on the wrong. I misdiagnosed you. And it's like, and it's because you hate yourself. You let this random dude figure you out. You can figure out yourself if you meditate and see what the fuck's wrong with you. Meditate on your illness, bro. Right? Why am I depressed? Why? And you, tra most people say, why am I depressed? You can trace it back to uh, the divorce of their parents usually. And then when you break that down, now we're, we're in the healing phase. Now you get itchy and irritated and you start healing just like a scab gets itchy when it's healing. What's the three best jobs for a 20 year old? What did, I didn't know how to answer that. What the f I don't, that's weird, bro. What the f Yeah, as a man, you should always be building, bro. You should be laying bricks and the foundations of your castle, career, and everything that guards you from that satanic world, or else you get depressed.
And the cool thing is the breaks get lighter. You Sometimes you could do one break a day. Sometimes you could do 30 a day. And when you're really doing good in life, you can do 100 breaks a day. Right? But uh, I don't like to talk about momentum too much because I don't believe you should start slow. I think you should go at your dreams hard. You should sprint after them. You should always feel like you're behind schedule. Not where you're negative and fighting with family and friends, but like you should always be like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right guys. We chilled, we went and watched that movie together, and now I have to go back to, you know, doing my life. Do monkey, uh, I'm not really, fine bro, fine. You wanna do monkey? Let's do some monkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I realize you guys benefit more if you guys are informed, intelligent, and then I give you some play with monkey. And uh, I think you guys do better in life if you have both, right? Anyways, I was talking about, uh, right, witchcraft, right? Okay, so if you're wondering why this Jack Chad beautiful guy like me is into, like, witchcraft, which is, like, Harry Potter gay stuff, it's not like I grew up with Harry Potter. I actually never watched Harry Potter. I never read it. I don't know anything about it. I'm not into that stuff. I'm not into witchcraft. I'm not into witches. I'm not into fantasy or not like that. But why I'm into it, why I've finished so many books on it, is because it kept showing. I kept seeing it in politicians' homes. And in my head, I'm thinking... These are some powerful people. Why do they all have this thing, this this witchcraft thing connected to them? Like why? And how does destiny and let's say uh, Stephen Crowder and Ben Shapiro? How come none of them talk about the witchcraft part of politics? They like to talk about it for Hollywood. Which is like, oh, Hollywood. It's kind of stupid. <clears throat> so I'm like, all right, uh, let's Google. Let me let me show you something crazy. Anyways, hold on, hold on. The, bo the books I read are useful for me. And, you know, if I could explain it to you guys, if I could remember all of it, I have to be triggered to remember all of it. But they are useful right most of what uh freemasons and these people talk about is useful knowledge right yes manny p hall and stuff but uh man you get so much reading done when you are guided correctly so i didn't have someone telling me what books to research so i said you know i love i'm not gonna lie men love power right when you think about why you want money why, why you've ever wanted uh, real money in your life. It's like a status and power thing. And for me, it's power, like move out of my way type energy, you know? So I was like, okay, these are the most powerful. Who are the most powerful people in history? And what the f do they talk about in their books? So I started reading these books and they kept mentioning witchcraft. But it wouldn't be like, they, it would be like 10% of the book would be witchcraft. Most of it would be uh, psychic initiation um, or, or soul architecture. Uh, yeah, trance-like states and, and weird, weird kind of shit like that. So anyways, th this is all I read. I, I'm pretty sure everything involving Manny P. Hall I've read and like three or four times because so easy to read Manny P. Hall or listen to. Manny P. Hall, Blavowski for the theosophy and all that satanic garbage. Um, okay, so Manny P. Hall, either e over 25 books, three, four times each I've read them, and the authors are Manny P. Hall, the Blavowski, I forget her name, the theosophy lady, um albert pike my cavalian was good but uh, 
of the Bible. Yeah, a lot last year. Wait. There's more. Hold on. Uh, let me see here. Actually, you know what? These are good starting points because it'll it'll take you months. It'll it'll take you months to uh to finish most of these. But anyways, they all talk about the same stuff kind of. They all talk about uh ancient mystery schools, hermetic practices and how there's two paths. You know that duality that uh black and white checkerboard that is in Freemasonry? That's their gods. So here, I wrote a note here. Look, I write notes. and Because I want to know what the billionaire elites actually... Because I know they don't go to church. Also, another thing. If I'm looking like a tinfoil to you, Nancy Pelosi hired an exorcist to come work on her home. Because she, she reads Manny Pial, and Manny Pial says... There's psychic rays that can come out of someone's mind and kill another person. Like, someone can actually hex you. Like, if you constantly have bad luck, someone's with you, maybe. And he also talks about how um, the most dangerous thing you can... Uh, the thing people suffer from most is not the most evil. It's creating demons by accident, right? So if you're a very negative person... You create demons and then they, they rule over you. But here, hold on, look at this shit. Ancients claimed that there was a hierarchy of demons that incarnated through the sins of man. So these demons only exist in uh, more than a Carl Jung archetype form. They're like forces and basically think of a, this is the way they explain it. Think of a human and a river of infinite impulses going <laughs> through the human, right? A river of infinite impulses are going through the human. The, the more impulses the human denies, the closer he is to achieving purity, right? So abstaining from sex and blah, 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 all does great things for the soul. All right, let's keep going. Hold on. <clears throat> Ancients claimed that there was a hierarchy of demons that incarnated through the sins of man. It's all man's fault. On the lower planes of the astral world. That's that lower vibration, right? These are strange creatures. Some are like animals. Few are debased human beings. But most are lizards, snakes, and other reptiles. But they're in the invisible world. You can't see them. But we talk about like, oh, reptilian overlord and serpent worship, Ophites, Canaanites uh, in the in the Gnostic Christian days. All right. The power of black magic is to direct these sin manifestations and soulless beings. So the black magician directs his or other people's sins that, that manifest these soulless beings, right? Reptilian, subhuman, whatever the f and he he uses them uh to do his bidding but every single time he's conquered by his own slaves so this is actually really interesting that these geniuses right these are considered manny p hall is considered a genius right albert pike spoke 16 languages and he was like a racist confederate he didn't like black people but he loved Native Americans and would defend them. And it's because he liked their sh shaman uh, practices that he wanted to learn from. But uh, 16 f languages, and and if you've read his books, it's, bro, he has a 500-page book that's just poetry. You know how people have uh, struggled with like a 15-bar haiku or whatever the f it's called? He does 500 pages of poetry. Like there's never be a break. And it's kind of intense to read. Like, it's too much to read, actually. But clearly that guy's not human. How the f*** do you know 16 languages and write, like, all these books and stuff? And Albert Pike is, like, noted to have wrote a letter 
predicting uh, in a dream because these guys these guys who were um who are contacted by luciferian forces they have visions whether day or night they have visions but he had a dream and he predicted world war one and world war two and all that just like nostradamus and those kind of figures and uh but some people say that's fake who knows anyways hold on look at this Okay, so the, the power of the black magician is to direct the sin manifestations of soulless beings. This is Manny P. Hall, I'm pretty sure. Reptilian or subhuman. Those black magicians of chain... Those black magi... I wrote this note and it doesn't make sense. Those black magicians of chain... No, those black magicians that have put chains on these demons always fall victim to their own reptilian slaves. And by reptilian, I guess they just mean beast-like, like it's a beastly energy, right? And and really, that's what human is, right? You're a beastly guy watching porn all day, and you have to overcome that and, uh, you know, go into the spirit. The black magician launches these invisible demons in the world through his own astral body. Listen to this, okay? Here's the soul contract, okay? This took me years to find out. Okay, because I when you read this, you have to like compare it to other literature and see if it makes sense. So I'm positive he's talking about soul contract here. He says the black magician launches these invisible demons into the world through his own. Shut the f up, man. Shut the f up. Think positive. It's 2023. Not angry. Okay. <clears throat> One in the chat. Let's reset. <sighs> the black magician launches these invisible... Ever since I got these teeth, the lisp is forever. I don't remember my tongue hitting teeth this much in my life. Maybe you're not supposed to pick the biggest teeth. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> okay. <Oof. laughs> Can you remove them? Yeah, yeah, let me fucking pull it out. <laughs> I think the lisp is here to stay unless I speak slower. <laughs> oh, you didn't notice? Okay. So anyways, all right. <laughs> the, holy shit. This is the last time I'm reading this. All right. But remember, who here believes that you can sell your soul? And remember, you have to be open to selling your soul before the devil comes. The devil doesn't just come to you. You have to be on the market first. Okay. Um, and we see that all the time. Okay. Unless you believe it's chemicals in your head, then you've been watching Destiny too long and your life's going to suck, bro. Your life is going to... Prayer changed my life. I don't know why you guys don't pray. Pray. Your your lives suck. And um, and praying keeps you good looking. I swear it does. Okay. Um, the black magician launches these invisible... <laughs> fuck, man. This subscription is throwing me off. <laughs> I can hear it from the... Anyways. The black magician launches these... <laughs> The black magician launch. <laughs> hey, man. Okay. It's from the top. <laughs> I feel like uh, Tom Cruise. <sighs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the black. <laughs> the black guy. All right. Hold up. All right. I haven't streamed in a while. Like, <laughs> I haven't streamed in a while. Like, I'm. Uh, anyways, <laughs> sorry. It's I keep thinking of. Uh, I guess only my brothers live with me, really. So he knows. Like they, you know, they call me the Joker because I have these days, and uh, now that I can be loud at night. I'm not in my old home. 
I feel like you'll see the real me now. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes when I get the giggles, uh, people get insecure because they're like, is he laughing? And I can't go to parties because people will be like, is he laughing at me? Am I just, why is John laughing? You know, they get weirded out. And sometimes I just laugh for no reason, man. It's the voices in my head. Anyways, the black magician launches these invisible demons into the world. <laughs> it's a blooper reel, man. All right. Uh, sorry. I haven't streamed in a while. <laughs> the problem, I'm going to close chat. I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> dead channel okay let's do a long stream today <laughs> oh my god 2023 no anger my anger is gonna be laughter <laughs> this up one more time <laughs> okay oh, they took it off <laughs> <Right. Ready? laughs> the... <laughs> what was I talking about that's the problem is let me reread this bro I just because I've done this book three times and I hate doing it on stream because then I have to actually um break it down to me it all makes sense but you guys it won't <laughs> okay <clears throat> all right here it is all right uh sweaty <sighs> the dark magician okay all right but no okay so i was talking about serious stuff all right let's get serious uh we're talking about soul contracts this is what i think he, he's talking about a soul contract here this is what manny p hall 33 degree mason is talking about i, I didn't do a year of these books for no reason man i know he's talking about selling your soul he says the black <laughs> the black magician launches these invisible demons into the world through his own astral body remember astral is a fire your soul, astral fire, astral body. So he launches demons through his own body in exchange for the powers these demons will give him. So let's do that again. The black, this is Manny P. Hall, the genius, okay? Multiple languages, just like Pike and all that. Genius guy. Why is he talking about this? I don't know. <clears throat> He's got a whole book on it. He says, the black magician launches these invisible demons into the world through his own astral body in exchange for powers these demons will give him. Now, who believes in that? Because there's been Rosicrucians who talked about conjuring up certain archetypes and having visions and and hallucinogenic states where when they come out of it or sometimes during it the man who was never instructed by an artist becomes a da vinci level painter and just does a mona lisa when he's never painted before and it's the demon working through him and this really talks about um uh choosing the immortal soul with god or uh, mortal mortal glory, meaning you're an amazing artist and rich and famous in the mortal world. Like you have a good life here. You're Will Smith of the, of of the of um, of Earth. The white magician dedicates his soul to the immortal light. The black magician sells his for immortal glory. So it's the left hand, right hand paths, just like witchcraft. Why are all these Masonic practices identical to witchcraft? And why don't they just call it witchcraft? Why is the initiation like witchcraft? Why is everything they do? Uh, the real question is, what the?
Okay, I was just told I'm not allowed to talk about this topic on Twitch anymore. I had so much planned. And I was going to go through the whole book with you. So am I even allowed to say the book's name? <laughs> Text. Uh, I can't say the book's name? All right, we'll switch. Damn, bro, this is a good book. It is on YouTube. Is it Secret Teachings of All Ages? No, that's like level one beginner shit. Shit I did last year. Shit, I'm doing the book. I don't care. I don't. I didn't read the whole thing to listen to the voices in my head. Um... Maybe I won't say the book's name. How about that? It's hard to find anyway. Like 4,000 views. <clears throat> so here I, here I have a timestamp of Satan and Lucifer being a Mason's largest forces and powers. He says they aren't evil. So they say duality, yin and yang, solar, S-O-L, which is soul, and lunar, luna, right? Male, female. Uh, this is the duality that they work in. Alchemists work here. Uh, witchcraft is more one-sided. And masonry is more about the light. Apollo, 66th floor of Donald Trump's home. Uh, Trump had a Kabbalah teacher. Every politician, everyone who makes millions and millions of dollars have a Kabbalah bracelet. Search up Lionel Messi. Um Hollywood stars, this is not a conspiracy, and it's very close to witchcraft. But again, it's either the sun or the moon, meaning the moon is satanic. It's the coldest thing. If the sun were to disappear today, the man in this book says would uh, would crystallize, and the, the man would fall into the uh, in, into be, a being of just matter. And if the moon were to disappear, then the man would burn up and become his astral flame, the soul, right? So they say you need both, and which is interesting because in masonry, Satan and Lucifer are opposite forces. So a lot of Christians say it's the same thing, but what the f*** do Christians know? They can't even decipher their own f book. Um... I'm pretty sure they are different forces because think about it. Their loving force is Lucifer, right? Oh, peace, inclusivity, we're all liberals, blah, blah, blah. That's Luciferian, right? It comes through a broken cross that's upside down, right? Search up the peace symbol from the 1960s sexual revolution. That's a Luciferian revolution. A satanic revolution uh would be a feminine one and not masculine and a luciferian would be masculine that's the difference in masonry so when they say there's good and evil what they're really hinting at is they're both evil to me that was mind-blowing and i figured this out i remember i did a stream about this this is how i know i'm a genius i did a stream about this like six months ago and I said, wait, there can be no good without evil? Why do they want us to believe that? Why does everyone who tries to sound smart say, you can't have light without darkness? Of course you can have good without evil. That's what God is. It would be ultimate goodness, the good. Um, like Plato said. <clears throat> but... The human works with these two hands, the left hand and the right hand, the solar and the lunar. And and it's funny that these people print money. Like they have the power to print. They're in the Federal Reserve. They're in the Treasury. They're in Hollywood. Definitely in politics. And very few of them are satanic. Most of them are like Luciferians. Uh, the satanic ones are a lot more forceful, like Marina Abramovich and stuff. And that comes from the um, Masonic apron. So Masonic apron 
is four sides. It is the pentagram star, the regular star, and one of the flaps points downwards. And that what the apron in masonry is, why it's so important, is it's showing an illuminated figure, meaning someone who's achieved purity. They don't use their penis. Right? That's why it's covering their genitalia. That's why it's an Egyptian thing, right? The Masonic um, apron. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? And why there's an eyeball on the apron is that's the life force, generative principle, the sperm. That penis that is covered by the purity of the apron, right? Is the eyeball winking at you saying, hey, some, uh, some of us Masons are not pure. Some of us do sex magic. And remember, blood magic bends space, time, and the universe, right? They say, you know, you sacrifice children and you get all the worldly riches. Manny P. Hall talked about this. Geniuses wrote about this. Destiny didn't write about this. Destiny doesn't know shit. Destiny thinks there's a conspiracy theory. Why would billionaire geniuses write about this shit? So, and what is sperm, right? Sperm, again, focus. It's the serpent and the egg. Your girlfriend, your she's the egg. And you're the serpent snake. You sin and come inside of her. Focus. It's, again, biblical. <clears throat> right? But what is sperm? It's blood plasma. So it is a blood magic ritual when you come on a girl's face. And a lot of people tune out of my stream here because they go, dude, you've ruined sex for me. And sometimes I double think. And, dude, sex opens up portals. Okay? Um, all your problems come from having casual sex and all that. And a lot of you guys are like, oh, John, like, how do you, like, leave it alone and shit? Dude, you're not a horny guy. You've just been watching porn since you were 12. If you take a break from porn for like a month, maybe two months, and try and click on it, you'll kind of laugh and be like, whoa, what the f*** was I into? You'll snap out of it. Right now, you would never believe me because you're like deep, deep down there and addicted. But it's 2023, and if you're still watching porn, you got to ask yourself, how's your life going, bro? And it is, you're doing uh, weird shit. You're, you're in your room covered in cum. That is path pathetic. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, John, you're just not a horny guy. You're Bro, I had 18 to 19 times human testosterone in me injected at one point in my life. And I still didn't f*** the ugly chicks. Everyone on trend, f they, it, people on trend go gay. Most people who go gay are on steroids or cocaine. I was on all that and I didn't even f ugly chicks, right? I still f the worst I did was like a seven and I was shaking horny. I was like, oh, so people are like, oh, you're just not a horny guy, John. That's why you're more pure. No, I'm more. I was more pure than you when I was on gear, but I'm not going to lie. I was jacking off like eight times a day on gear. It was weird. It was like, imagine more than high school days. Yeah. Eight, nine times a day. You think it's crazy, but remember, you'll have like 10 to 15% more blood volume on your biceps, your chest, your dick. So your dick heals very fast after you stroke it. <clears throat> yeah, it was weird. But I, puberty was fiery for me, though. Puberty, I'm not going to, I'll never say gear was, obviously it's worse than puberty, but it kind of makes puberty look overpowered because you're like, oh, it's, it's natural. It's not synthetic and it keeps up with gear. But anyways, yeah, I, I, I always was like paranoid about who I sleep with and shit like that. Like I made a ton of mistakes. I'm not like a pure guy. But I'm so pure compared to the f demons flowing through my blood at that time uh, that were trying to get me to do very impulsive, stupid things. And uh, 
Look, let me just word it like this, dude. If you have a stepsister and you're going through puberty or you're on gear or you're down on your luck or you're on cocaine or you're allowing bad demons in your life or you're watching too much porn, you're going to f her. Uh, you're going to bang your... Um, that's It happens to the best of us, man. I bent over my step and I said, forgive me. And she said, no, forgive me because we knew we were sinning. Uh, but I started it. I was like, hey. And she's like, hey. And so I'll take the blame. I initiated the sexuality. But yeah, so if you watch porn, you become a lot more beastly. Uh, also, I want to say something about, like, uh, who's circumcised in my chat? So I'm circumcised, and the sensitivity is not all the way there. So we lose stiffness a lot faster. If you have the skin, it feels better that, to you. Like piping feels better. But if you don't have the skin, you are way more beastly. Meaning you're piping in a beastly form. And if you have the skin, you it it's warm on your tip. And you, you're more, mm, I love you. Mm. But if you don't have the skin, you are. <laughs> and so I read a lot about... Um, circumcision making men a lot more beastly like it makes you i love how my dick looks i hate foreskin i hate talking about this but i have to talk about this i hate how it looks but dude imagine the feeling if you did have the skin you know when she's just on your tip just when she's just making the tip all hot hot and spicy you know when it's getting hot when she's just on your tip hot making your tip hot that's how it feels like when you have the skin and you're just banging right read what i said what did you say just retype it oh knowing you it's going to be defending his dick i hate when people get personal here Actually, John, it feels better if you cut the skin because uh, there's this imam who told me this and I have to protect my religion. Like, bro, why are you pretending? Circumcision is a sacrificial ritual for masculinity. Do what you must regardless of how you feel. I don't get it, you. Are you circumcised or not? What are you trying to say, dude? I don't get it. You are circumcised, but you're saying it's bad. No, I'm saying it's a ritual. It's a rite of passage for men. Well, in the, in the conspiracy realm, they don't want humans to be loving. They want men to be beastly and f their wives like angry and shit like that. That's what the uh, that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure it is a thing, but I'm circumcised and I just know I know for a fact if I had a foreskin, it would feel better. I know it's like if you have a, when you f with a sock on it feels better. I know for a fact like I'm I know for a fact those guys are enjoying it more and they're more loving than our side. I know it. <clears throat> like I kind of have to force being loving and stuff when I'm piping because I'm like, yo, I don't want to be what I don't want to be described as beastly. You know what I mean? I want to be beastly. But anyways, look at this. <clears throat> so we we saw some Arabs doing black magic and they got caught by... Uh, Elmi showed us this video. It had 40,000 views on YouTube. And it was these Arabs who were practicing... No, well, one dude... No, no, it was a group of Arabs practicing black magic. And they put a sword in the guy's stomach like a, one of those needle swords and they take it out then they put it 
through his mouth and they're not acting like weird cannibals and stuff they're just doing a ritual you know they're acting very normal and so i'm watching this and i take it off the screen because i'm like i'm not showing my chat this and the guy freezes because he has like i guess jinns inside of him and demons so he freezes like this because the sword's in him and the hole that they pierced in his stomach um leaked feces and uh bile and vomit and the the elder of the group practice the era of practicing black magic he grabs a bit of it and he eats it and it's not like he was hungry and cannibalistic he just just a piece then he grabbed a little more and only the leader ate it and it's one of those like that is this really on youtube like am i because I, I i know i know normally i would puke to something like that but I didn't puke because it was on YouTube. So I was like, I don't know, I don't even believe this. What the f did I just see? And then I'm pretty sure they got arrested and all that. But um, all their rituals they do, you see the Ukrainian, and I'm not saying the Russians don't do it, right? I could see Wagner doing rituals like this, just like Hitler and them did it. And, and the Ukrainian Azov Battalion does it. They all do this black magic before they go to war where it's something to do with dirt and earth, blood, air, earth, water, and fire, right? Like the avatar. And now look at this. In this book, it talks about air is the body. The air body gives power of thought. So all the mental plane is air. We breathe it. The mental plane is air. Fire body gives the power of motion and emotion. So the orgasm. There's an astral fire in you. So when you get angry, you get hot. So air is the mental plane. The motion and emotion is the fire body, right? That is the emotional uh, aura, right? These are the four auras of the, human, of the human. And then the water body gives the power of reproduction and growth. That was interesting to me. So I'm like, whoa, the water body is semen and all that stuff. I was like, huh, you know, circulatory system, all that. That's kind of crazy. And um, these, this guy talks about in magic, there's karmic learning of 800 earthly lives. Manny P. Hall talks about this. And a lot of people believed in this stuff. And the definition of magic, according to Manny P. Hall, is art of manipulating unseen forces of nature. <laughs> unseen forces of nature okay and I, i'm thinking to myself okay this guy's way more famous than destiny why should i write him off as a kook like he's one of the most famous authors of all time he says a magician is one who can juggle the four elemental bodies and an alchemist transforms through them, right? A magician is one who is capable of consciously molding the substances of matter and the three and a half worlds of material substance. The two demons of creation are Satan and Lucifer, or according to Greeks, Mars and Venus. That's really interesting, okay? Uh, which that one actually confused me because mars mercury is hermes and he's sometimes seen as the, the light bringer venus is seen as the morning star lucifer and this one's talking about mars right the pagan god of war right and venus which is the fertility goddess so this one's kind of confusing to me actually but... okay let's keep going one in the chat to keep going Black magic versus Christ consciousness, Brahmic splendor, uh, universal uh, awareness, whatever you want to call it, uh, which is well-being and gratitude and prayers of the old. That is the, the state the Mason tries to awaken. And the black magician is not going inward. He is selfish and he is all for his passions and he sees himself as god uh, but ultimately they're always destroyed by their own um 
magic manipulation, right? And even Manny Hall, who talks about the seething powers of Lucifer, bro, this guy got murdered. Like, that's how he died. So I, I wonder how, how good of a guy he was, because he said, don't practice any of this shit. So he talks about Lucifer, love and peace, uh, satanic forces, two paths. Well, that's what I got from that. He didn't actually talk about that part. Uh, definition of alchemy is symbolic representation of the entire process of universal activity. So let me get this straight. Alchemy is the symbolic representation. Okay, so we draw it on a board, just symbols, of the entire process of universal activity. Proof of immortality is in the alchemist. Okay, so there's some alchemists who lived like 400 years. He talks about that too. Psychic power of soul achieved by platonic mystics, right? We study Plato and all those guys. Apparently, they had some psychic knowledge. Rocks and stars all have invisible meanings, meaning even a stone has a vibration and an invisible meaning to it that you can't see you have to unveil it and when we learn how to read signs and symbols this stuff will be easier to us but they don't teach us they teach us a b and c and all that stupid shit okay alchemist slash rosicrucians he did now uh many p hall doesn't talk about this but i made the connection okay because i, I don't want to like misquote the guy because then people will be like zirka's making up shit Okay, so alchemists believe the same thing as Rosicrucians, but he's talking about alchemists only. Must purify the body and negate all living powers flowing through it. So I think he's talking about sexuality here, right? That is living power flowing through you. Must purify the body and negate all living powers flowing through it. All the ancient mystics, Gnostics, sages, saints, you know, stop. They, they practice no nut and they... Um, stopped they never had sex and purified their body so they were alchemists and achieved uh new states of consciousness um once pure this self meditation enhances energy of emotion to divine the fire of life magnetic field okay weird then he talks about there are seven chakras, seven seals of revelation. Also, there are seven metals of alchemical transmutation. The alchemist is looking to quiet his nature and achieve peace of mind. Right? Remember, a lot of Freemasons say they're about this path, but they end up doing rituals instead. The alchemist is looking to quiet his nature and achieve peace of mind, not a psychic revelation. So I guess that would be devilish and satanic. He's not looking for a psychic revelation, but a lot of people said psychic revelations can mean God is talking to you, which I don't know about that. Seven seals of revelation are also the vital organs. You have seven vital organs that they won't, don't talk to you about anymore. Just like Rosicrucians, alchemists must be in tune with these chakras and receive this heart energy up the spinal ladder to the cave of Brahma. So that's what Manny Peel talks about, but that's not a quote. That's how I interpret it. And it is accurate. Like you go ask any scholar what I just said, they'd say, oh yeah, Zerka is accurate. Even though Manny P. Hall said it differently, I softened it up so it's easier to digest. But uh, that's exactly what he meant. And... Uh, I, I promise you, it does that does it doesn't have to be an, a, a perfect quote from him. But I bet I can find a quote that close to that one. Um, lunar works for maintenance of body, right? Just like your girlfriend, she maintains you. You know, you feel love, blah blah blah. So that's what the moon is, and the peace of the flesh. Okay, and remember, sun, the sun, right? Your you every human is like a solar capsule, right? of sunlight that you hold even when you're sleeping and um that's that masculine and active force and the moon is passive uh just like and and yo here here's i know i'm i'm going genius mode right so as i'm finishing this book it hits me i'm like wait a minute 
if the opposite of spirit is matter, and this is not the genius part, this is like Plato, I'm just stealing right now. If the opposite of sp uh, spirit is matter, it's, uh, and spirit is just inverted matter, right? I was thinking to myself, that makes a lot of sense of why the moon is feminine. Because the moon is matter and passive. You can see the moon. You can see the designs on the moon, everything. But you can't see the sun. You look at it and you're like, ah, I can't see it. That's exactly spirit. You can't see spirit, invisible world, right? And to me, I was like reading the book and I'm like, holy shit, that makes a lot of sense. So when I made that connection, I'm like, yo, I'm actually a genius. Um, it's so weird to me how like uh, geniuses are never spoken about in the mainstream like they won't talk about Manny P. Hall but they talk about Jordan Peterson I'm like dude this guy's talking about magnetic electromagnetic auras in the human body and that the only time you get sick is when you lie, cheat, steal, do bad things, and uh, your aura gets weak. <clears throat> uh, which, yeah. There's like a universal principle that if you're a bad person, you just uh, become weaker to the same evil you're doing in the world to happen to you. Uh not like karma of like afterlife, but karma during your life. Human soul must ascend seven spheres, okay? So just like uh, people with their seven candles, I forget, Hanukkah or whatever. To arrive back to God, seven heavens, seven planets of antiquity, wandering stars. Uh, the Holy Bible, square and compass are the greatest lights in masonry, okay? So this is a really good, this is why people say the Bible is real. Because the most evil guys, the Masons, uh, they need it to invert its uh, spiritually charged energy. Three sub sublime lights of Masonry are the sun, moon, and the master of the lodge, which is th to them the eye of Horus, which is usually Osiris. Sun is generative power of deity. So again, solar worship, sun worship. I've been talking about this for so long. Most of you guys are heliocentrists, so you guys are already thinking you revolve around the sun, you're going to hell. A lot of you guys are going to hell, not going to lie. Just putting that out there. God is the source of its light, right? So generative power of deity. That's why they say the sun spews this, the sperm onto the womb of the earth, right? The sun rays. God is the source of its light and... I'm just tripping because there's like this there's this girl that you you wouldn't you never suspect she watches these streams but she said my her mom loves my streams and i'm like i haven't done normal streams in so long what the fuck do your mom watches this stuff you know it just it's like mind-blowing it's like i gotta stop talking about nasty stuff because you know i gotta stop talking about um no there's like four moms who watch my channel and i thought it was for my old content but i'm talking about like recently they told me well, months ago they told me one reason. That's why I don't want to talk about and stuff like that. I'm like, wow, that's making me look crazy. God is the source of its light. Moon represents passive capacity to produce in nature. Horus, Osiris, and Isis, right? Again, look in the Vatican, right? Search up the Jesuit order and you'll see what I'm talking about. Horus, Osiris, and Isis. Vatican, Israel, or Mercury, Sun, and Moon, okay? So these are their three, their trinity. The blazing star that was Anubis, or Sirius, as we call it, but then in masonry became Horus, which is just Hermes, Apollo, Lucifer. It's all the same sun deity. And Osiris is the first. So Osiris, Horus, Ra, different times of the day until the sun sets. Um, but yeah, now look at this. Every billionaire believes in this shit. Even Donald Trump, my guy, Trump on the 66th, that's a Masonic number 
well, that's a biblical number. Six is east, south, west, north, right? Which is also like fire, earth, water, air. And as above, so below. So the six dimensions of reality, the material world, the devil's world. Even Donald Trump on the 66th floor, Google it. It's just a golden room of Apollo sun worship. So every time I want to let go of this as just like crazy schizo schizo posting, every time I want to say this just schizo posting, someone will tell me, hey, look at Trump's room, do this, and it'll blow my mind because I'm like, dude, I don't do conspiracy, bro. I do the truth. You want to explain what the f that room is? Uh, but Trump is the good guy.